Frags and Beer family, welcome back to Indie Spotlight. I'm your host, Zaymot, also known as Trevor on social media. You can find links to all of my content in the video description below, including my social media and the ways to support this channel. Biggest way to support us, like I keep saying, click that red button. I'm going to keep saying that till we get to a thousand. We're getting, like, we're moving up, moving up fast. We're getting close to 250. I can see it. I just want to get to 300 so I can start giving away books. So if you're watching the stream, if you're watching the recording, just click that red button. It doesn't cost you anything. Just throw me a subscribe. You don't even have to turn on the bell because the notifications on YouTube kind of worthless. That said, if you do want to know when I'm going live, don't rely on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. There's a link in the description below or on Twitter, and I post there a couple minutes before I'm going to go live. If you follow on Facebook, I think you can set up notifications there too, so you'll get dinged when I'm going live, and you'll know ahead of time. YouTube notifications, they go out late, and there's nothing I could do about that. Uh, I wish I could, so unfortunately... That's the way it is. But please subscribe. Please help me get close to 300. I'll start giving away books and get me closer and closer to 1,000. You guys who stopped out for Harry Mack, it's kind of slowed down a little bit. We're at 75 views since Saturday, but it has made it into the top 10 of all of my videos um, since I've been doing this. It's, I think I started in 2015 or something. Um, and... Dax is the next rap god is no, still number two. You're like 250 views right now. You got a ways to go to get the top spot, so keep pushing it. If you guys are watching this, make sure you subscribe. Only a few of you have subscribed from those big videos that have been getting a lot of hits. So keep it going. Bring your friends. Let me know. So the Trovo chat is actually not registering, which is really weird. So if you're watching over on Trovo, I may not be able to see you log in. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'll take a look at that after the stream. Not too worried about it right now. So today we're going to take a look at Bridge City Centers. We haven't looked at them in a while. Uh, it's been a few weeks. Uh, and they actually stopped by uh, the lead singer whose name just escaped me, which really, really irritates me when I, I'm, I'm horrible with names. I forget names so easy. She stopped in on one of the streams to say that she appreciated what we're doing here. So that means a lot. Hopefully she uh, and they, the whole band, understand that I'm trying to get more eyes on more music and more good music, indie music, out in front of people. So we're going to take a look at Virgin Sacrifice by Bridge City Sinners. This is a live session when it was recorded. Um, so it's still very good, uh, but you, you're going to notice some slight things in it that, that you might not see in a studio recording, but that's what's cool. That's why I like doing live shows. You're not getting any fakery. You're not getting a mask. You're not getting anything. You know, I'm not going over the top with reactions. This is a review channel. It's a live show. I'm not making anything up. You're getting me. It's me and you and the mic and the dog who's currently eating a leaf on the floor uh, so here we go we're gonna look at bridge city bridge city centers virgin sacrifice uh if you're watching the live stream let me know you're here if you're watching the recording make sure you leave me a comment let me know what you think and then go check out their channel when we're done here make sure you check out bridge city centers i'll link the video in the description below here we go This band is so different. Uh, when I first heard them, I'm like, I got have to have these guys on the show. Um, and we've talked about it. I've talked about it before. It's it's like this odd mix of like Roma traveler music, you know, with 
like sea shanty pirate stuff like this is such a strange conglomeration of sounds and instruments and voices her voice is so different so unusual and so unique um the song is very fast very fast paced and it's 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 very dark like it's a very fun song it's it's clearly you know talking about virgin sacrifice it's in the title but you know the the dark in the night and and um that makes her a sinner and all the different things that she's going into with a very dark theme here and i really enjoy it the sound of the band though i can't get over how different and unique i've yet to find a band quite like these guys i've there's a couple that are that are unique that we do on indie spotlight that are very unique but i've not heard a band like these guys they are something else entirely and it's it it's a lot of fun like i can imagine these guys would be a lot of fun to see live uh, which hopefully one day I get to. I would really love to see these guys live and uh, and experience this all, the feeling and the sound. Because if you've never been to a live show, it's hard to describe the difference. A lot of people talk about, oh, why you, you can just listen to a song on the radio, it's cheaper. You can listen to it on YouTube, it's cheaper. Sure, it's cheaper than going to a show. But it's like the difference between reading a physical book and reading a book on Kindle. There's more to a concert than just the music and i want to experience this in person it's they're so energetic and fun and I'm, i really want to see them live sometime hopefully please come to illinois and play for us <laughs> Her voice, like, it's so, like, a lot of, when a lot of people are going to do Scream or, or that real guttural stuff, they usually do it much more full. It's much, um, hers is almost like a strangled gasping. Uh, and I'm wondering if that's intentional or it's just the way she sounds when she does that. It's just interesting with this type of song, the way she's, the way she's pulling that. It sounds like it's coming from way down in her throat here rather than in in her gut, and it's it's interesting. It's I think it goes with the song, but it's it's an interesting choice, and I can't imagine. Like, I hope she's doing that without doing any damage to her vocal cords because it really sounds like it might be doing some damage in there. But I don't know. Maybe you know I've I've heard a lot of scream metal, and I don't know how they do it. Uh, I mean, there's some technical videos on there on how they do it. I just. I'm surprised that they can do it so much without really doing a lot of damage to themselves. Kiss the clothes and hoof of the one and only guy. The one that you worship. He's not a murder, he's a fraud. Very cool. Very interesting. Very cool video. Uh, very good song. Uh, I said very a lot. Sorry. I'm trying to do better at that, but this is a live show and that's how I talk. 
Uh, I love these guys. I again, I want to see them live. I want to experience that music um, all around me. Uh, that energy, that it's just so phenomenal. Um, hi, buddy. Dog's looking at me like, come move this blanket out of my bed and let me lay down. No, move it yourself. Um, yeah, really good video from Bridge City Centers. Hopefully um, we get to see more of them. I want to see some new stuff. Their channel doesn't have a lot of new songs, so I'm digging back into some of their older stuff. Hopefully they, they bring out some new stuff because uh, I really want to I want to see as they progress and grow and and really bring out more and more of the talent that's in that band. And they've got some individual, some videos that some of the individual members have done, which I may take a look at as well. Um, Cause they're all independent artists. So um, my dog's over there making a bunch of noise now. And then he gives up on the blanket. Uh, anyway, really cool video. Go check out their channel. Make sure you give them a subscribe, like comment, let me know what you think of their content. Uh, make sure you subscribe here and come back. I will have more indie spotlight tomorrow and uh, Thursday's indie spotlight's probably going to be late. I got a, I got somewhere to be most of the afternoon and into the evening. So I will still get you a stream on Thursday, but it's probably going to be more in the seven to eight o'clock central time area. Also, if you missed it, I put out a new original spoken word piece uh, called Grin and Bear It. Um, really difficult thing for me to do. I don't like the sound of my own voice recorded, uh, and I had to listen to it many times to do the editing, and I'm it's my own content, so I'm dealing with that whole uh, anxiety about whether it's any good or not. So check it out and let me know what you think. And other than that, I will see you guys again soon. You have a great one. Much love.